I guess you've heard already that leadership is the number one requirement for great success, whether that be in parenting or in business. But why is leadership so important? In this video, I'm going to break down four main reasons why leadership is so critical to your success. That's what's coming up right now. Hi and welcome back to the A Player Show. I'm your host, Danny Matzna. I'm your leadership coach. I'm the founder of the Conscious Leaders Mastermind and I'll help you become a great leader and live a gorgeous life. And in today's video, we're going to talk about why leadership is important. Why do we need great leaders and why should you be start becoming a leader? That's what I want to cover in this video. And point number one, change requires leadership. The reason why most organizations struggle, why most businesses struggle, is because they don't have enough leaders which drive change. They try to manage change, but if you're trying to manage change, you're not going to get real change. That's the problem we face in most businesses, most organizations. They don't have enough leaders to step up, be out, go outside their comfort zone, be courageous to really stand up for change because doing what's right isn't easy. It's easy to stay on your path. It's easy to do what you've always been doing. But if you want to innovate, if you want to change something, you need to require leadership. Leadership is a requirement for change to happen. And otherwise, if you're trying to manage change, you're always going to face resistance. You're always going to face resistance. So leadership requires courage and leaders need to set the example and raise the standards for themselves and everyone else. That's the job of a leader, to raise their own standards, hold themselves accountable, and then raise the entire bar of the organization, of you as a parent, as their friend, whatever you're leading. Leadership is not about business. It is not about your work. Leadership is a mindset. Leadership is an attitude and it goes into every single area of your life. Either you are a leader because you chose to be one or you're not. Then point number two, leaders rally people around the vision of a better future. This is one of the biggest mistakes people make when they're trying to lead. They think like this is not working and they say this is not working. That's what our politicians do. This is what sucks. This is what's working horrible and we need to change something about it. But the problem is you're not rallying people around what's not working. You rally people around a vision of a future that does not yet exist, but is so much better than the one we're living today. That's real leadership. Real leadership requires a vision. And when you say, oh, we're not facing climate change. That's not, that's the problem. But I'm going to sell you a vision that is so exciting, a world that is so clean, that is so fresh of air. I don't, I don't know, I'm just making this up. But if you sell the vision instead of the problem, you're going to rally people around it. And the problem we face in today's world is that we are selling the problem over and over and over again without a vision of a better future. So people are going to resist that change because they don't see why is this benefiting me? Why do I need to change? Why do I need to do something different when the problem is like everybody else does this as well? That's the real thing we have with leadership today. People are selling problems, not visions. The vision will always rally people around. The problem isn't that exciting. It's not. So leaders rally people around the vision of a better future and they unite people rather than putting them, but rather than dividing them. This is so critical. Leaders rally people around a vision. They don't sell the problem. They don't emphasize the problem, although they know it exists. But they think like, I'm going to create something that is so much better. I'm going to strive for that vision. I know I have that problem. I know I need to solve it. But I also know the same level of thinking won't solve that problem. So we need to think bigger. We need to think bolder. That's real important. That's real leadership. Point number three. And by the way, if you like this video so far, make sure that you subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos and smash that like button. And then point number three, leaders lift people up. Leaders lift 
people up. Leaders create leaders. This is so critical. We need leaders to set the bar high. We need leaders to challenge ourselves. We need leaders to hold ourselves accountable. We need leaders who raise the bar of everybody else and strive for a better future, to create a better future, to raise the standard for our standard of living. This is real important. For any change, we need leaders who are lifting people up, who are showing them, this is who you could become. This is what you could do. This is what you are meant to be. This, we need, leaders believe in other people. This is really simple, but so true. Leaders believe in other people. They believe in their potential. And they believe that their number one job, your number one job as a leader is to lift other people up. But not, what do we do in most organizations? Well, the leader tries to stay in their positions and they're afraid. What if they overtake me? What if they become better at it? What if they do this and that and they hold people small because they're afraid? Well, what if they overtake me? But the real job of a real leader is to lift people up when you realize you don't need to be the best at your craft, but you need to be the best at creating leaders. And the more leaders you create, well, the more recognition, the more rewards you're going to get. Your job as a leader is to build more leaders. And then point number four, trust is the number one requirement for success in organizations, in parenting, in friendships. If you want to make something work, it's always about the relationship and leaders build trust in, in parenting and business and politics in anything you need trust and leaders have the responsibility to foster a safe and trusting environment. That's their job. Leader, management is not going to create that. Management is not going to focus on that. I mean, for a long time, it just focused on results, focused on shareholder value. But that's why we love low trust in our organizations, in our businesses. We need leaders to bridge the gap between management and the people in the organization. Leadership is the real key to great success. And if you think about the great leaders, they always had this ability to rally people around a cause, around their vision. And that's why their organizations, their businesses really succeeded. So this is so critical. I hope that this video is helpful. Make sure that you smack smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos and then check out the leadership playlist down below where I go in depth what it takes to become a great leader. And other than that, make sure that you subscribe down below, hit that notification bell and then live fully, live openly and be the leader of your life.